this tutorial is just going to show you how you install one of the UK Trainsim freeware packs. So on my desktop here, I've downloaded the um, uh, one of the wagon packs. So we'll simply double click it, and it will then extract the installation program and automatically run it for us. All we need to do is click the next button, and the next thing that the pack does is make sure that the um, what you're installing isn't out of date. Um, so for test purposes I've deliberately tried to install an out of date pack to show you what goes on. So if this happens, if you're installing something that's out of date, then you can just click the download button and go straight to the UK Trainsim website and get hold of the latest pack version. Or if you're sure you want this pack anyway, you can just click I want to install this out of date version. So that's what we'll do. Then we agree to our license agreement, click next. The installer will automatically find your Railworks installation, um, although you can change that if you want to and install it somewhere else. So we click next, followed by install, and now the uh, all the content etc required for this package will be added to your Railworks installation. The installer program will also delete any of the blueprint cache files that uh, might exist um, already so that the content will be loaded up uh, into Railworks as soon as you load up the game. So there we have it, our pack is installed um, and at the end of uh, the pack you'll get the option to uh, view the uh, manual for this pack which is uh, recommended. So I click finish now, the PDF manual will load up. All the freeware pack manuals are installed to the default location which is in your Railworks manuals folder. Um, so you can find them all in there if you need to in the future. Um, so here's our, our pack that's um, just installed in our manual and something that um, scenario creators, not players of Railworks, but scenario creators might find useful is the um, object set filters that are required um, to access all the content in this pack if you want to create your own scenario. So that's on page 3, so if I just click here it tells me that these are the object filters required to enable content um, contained in this pack. The very last thing I'm going to show you is that with each um, UK Trainsim freeware pack um, you also get installed a pack updater program. This is a very tiny program so we'll just double click it and what it will do is show us the status of every pack that we've got installed. Um, so this is telling me uh, that the UK Wagon Pack, which is a pack I've just installed, uh, it says it's uh, installed and I have version 1, but there's a new version available, so update available, and so it's appearing in red. Um, it also tells me that there's a housing pack available, I haven't got it installed and the latest version is 1.03. If I wanted to get hold of any of these packs, I simply click the little link here, the blue text here, and it will take me straight to the website to see uh, and, be able, uh, and be able to download the latest version. That's the end of this tutorial.